Hello, students. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Welcome to our English classes, actually. Hello, good evening. All of you guys ready? Getting ready. Good evening. Hi. Yeah, getting ready for vacation, right? Yes or not? Yes. Yep. Okay, do you yeah. have plans Plans for these vacations? Do you have some plans? Something interesting to do? Go out with your family, with friends? Go into an amusement park? Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, something interesting that you have in mind? For vacations? In the house for family. Oh, staying, okay, with your family, staying home. Okay. Interesting. That's very interesting. All right, so that's good. So, well, yeah, so that is very important. After this one, we start, you know, after this class, we start our vacation. So I know that we make an extra effort before starting. And I know that it's really important. But as we know, we, because we have a lot of things to do, the most important is that every time we have to practice English, no matter if we are on vacations or, or doing something else, because you know we can practice. Watching a movie, series, with the material you have, I mean, um, videos, applications. So there are a lot of things that we can also take into account for practicing English. And that's one of the most valuable things. Okay, so let's start the class. Are you ready? Ready. Perfect. Ready. Yes, ready. That's I awesome. Born ready. That's what I love. That's my word. Before the start, I just want to ask you something interesting. What we talked about in the last class, what do you remember was the last topic that we started in our classes? What do you remember? And also because it was a feedback of the exercises on the platform. So what do you remember? Yes, what we started, que estudiamos. Only one, only one, please. Not everybody at the same time. I study work and workplaces. Okay. All right. What else? What else? The rules for the first person, singular. All right, so that's okay. Yeah, we will we will talk about that. And also let me share with you the next topic. And um we uh concentrate our effort in this one video conference number in this case number five. How much is it? That is the question. How much is it? And we specifically talk about you know about prices when we want to buy a product, when we want to get something and we know that we ask the person, the price about a specific product and we talk about how much is it? How much is it? How much is it? That's the word to, to talk about that. So I would say in Spanish, cuánto cuesta, right? When we talk about some specific prices. And we have here, and um, this one, the general objectives. So who wants to help me to read the general objective in this class? A volunteer. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about the most acute live show. Okay, so it's important to talk about that one, to listen to a conversation about demonstrative while shopping, especially because we want to buy the product 
we need to see the product. We need to see the quality. We need to see the, the, the style. We need to see the price of the product because it's important because we know how much money we will spend in the product. So it's important to emphasize this part. And also don't forget to have the camera on. As I was said, um, that as it was said the previous classes that you should have the cameras on and um, that we can see the students, all right? So I just always uh, tell you that one. So don't forget to have the camera on because it's important. Okay, so after this one, we're talking about demonstrative while shopping. And we go with the first one. Look at this. This is a very interesting point. One second. I need to mold this one here. Okay, look at this. The meaning of colors in the United States. We have some colors. Well, according to this one, depending the color, each color represents a feeling or perhaps represent an emotion. So look at this one. We have the green one. Uh, green represents jealous. Like we say jealous, right? Are you jealous? Mm, depends that the color represent that one. The yellow represent happy to happiness. So when the person is happy, this color represent it. Um, or orange represent fun when people enjoy something specifically that's fun that's orange red is considered like exciting so i don't know why exactly about it but it says exciting the, the pink represents loving the love so uh, sometimes the heart is represented by red but also um you can see here that for example pink represent that specifically. We didn't know exactly about it, but that's what it's represented in the United States. And then we have purple that is mysterious, according to that one. Brown, friendly. You're very friendly, so the brown, the color brown is, represents that. Black is sad, represent the sadness. The gray represents boring person that is boring like you know what uh, so that is great and uh, white is pure something that is very pure uh, so that's what that is good right so that is the meaning of colors in the united states when someone has this type of color represent this thing and we have some questions that i want you to check which words have a positive meaning according to this one uh, from the words pure boring sad friendly Mysterious, loving, exciting, fun, happy, jealous. And also the light blue that is like successful, the, the blue, it's like kind of blue. Uh, I think it's like a little successful or something like that. So I badly watched that. One. Uh, which words have positive meaning? Entonces, ¿cuál de esas palabras tienen un significado positivo? Which words have a negative meaning? So you separate which ones are positive and which ones are negative. What meanings do these colors have for you? For example, the color red, um, let's see, Henry, Alejandro, what represents the color red? Exciting. Thing. Exciting? See, si, yeah. That represents uh, to you? Okay. Um, yes. Okay, for me, the color red represents love because if you remember the heart, it's color red. People represent the, the heart color red. So for me, it's like love instead of pink because according to the US, the pink is color loving, right? But loving. Yeah, so depends what represents. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, Wendy, what what represents the color red uh, to you? Sexy. <laughs> I'm sorry, sexy. 
Ah, okay, you send sex, you know, okay, a different perspective, of course. It's acceptable. That's all. That's great. Great. <laughs> all right. So for everyone has a different uh, perspective. So what meanings of these colors have for you? And the third question is, what does your favorite color make you think of? Uh, what does your favorite color make you think of? For example, my favorite color is blue, uh, blue and black. Mm -hmm. But what represents the blue and black in me? For me, what represents? Because are my favorite colors. So I want you to take a short time to um, respond these questions with your personal opinion. And then we are going to socialize um, those this information in the class, okay? Okay. All right, so I'll give you some time to answer these questions about this activity. Bien, vamos a responder las preguntas con la información que se nos pide, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿cuáles, ¿Cuáles palabras tienen un significado positivo? ¿Y cuáles palabras tienen un significado negativo de las que están aquí en el circo? Luego responderemos, ¿qué significado tienen estas, estos colores eh, para ti? ¿Y, cuál es, y qué, qué significado tienen tus colores favoritos?
Okay, almost ready or not yet? I'm ready. Okay, ready. Excellent. Guadalupe, ready? Yeah. Excellent. So remember that it's a, a briefly conversation. And uh, the one of the best strategies to improve and maximize your skills is to interact with our classmates. When we have interaction with our partners, we have like more confidence to talk and express because it's okay that we are like producing and when speaking, we get confidence. So we're gonna work in breakout rooms. In a briefly way, you will share some answers about this question. So that's what we had to do. And we're going to work in this question, all right? So let's go to our breakout rooms, everybody. Be ready, look at your screens, vean su pantalla, porque vamos a entrar a los breakout rooms y vamos a socializar las preguntas. Let's go. Okay, don't forget to connect um, to your groups because we're going to work in a breakout rooms and socialize the questions. So I can see here Roberto, uh, Lorena, Oscar. Oscar, we send you to a group. Look at the, um, one second. Okay, Lorena, I will send you to the group number five so you can also try and also yeah, Oscar, Lorena, and Ingrid. Number two. Okay, guys, I want you to go to your groups in the breakout rooms. Oscar, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, we send you an invitation to join a group. No me parece. Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. See you after the practice. Hey, Roberto. Roberto, look at your screen. Hi. Hi. We're, we're in the practice, Roberto. Look at your screen. Eh, venía conduciendo, teacher. Oh, venía okay. Conduciendo. Este, ahorita me voy a parquear y, y este, tengo que capturar este, la imagen. Excellent.
Sí. Ok, sería. Uh, luego sería which words have a negative meaning. Black, gray, green. Ok, luego sería what meaning do this color have for you? Yellow hopes, black darkness, orange happiness, uh, great sad, green peace, red love. Okay. Uh, what those your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Freedom. Okay. Um, creo que serían todas las preguntas. Así es. Para mí. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Está bien. Pero según la tabla, este, no sé qué significa que según la tabla. Es happy. No sé, te la, te la puedo hacer ahora yo a vos. Entonces, bueno, respondiendo las positive meaning, sería pure, successful, happy, fun, exciting, loving, friendly, mysterious, podría ser también. Y las, eh, las negativas serían sad, boring y yellows. Porque es como celoso, ¿no? Ah, green, yellow, yellow. Ah, el eh. que representa el, el green, el verde. Ajá, ¿no? Okay, students, we will continue with our, our work. Uh, congratulations for those who have practiced because it's important to practice. And I saw that most of you were working in activities. So that is very valuable. So it's necessary to practice with the groups and try to socialize valuable information in every class we have, right? So let's continue with the next activity. And we have a conversation. This conversation is about two people. So. Well, so I want you to follow this this conversation. The conversation says, 
they are perfect for you. So according to the picture, where do you think they are? Where this conversation takes place? Where do you think the conversation take place? I think they are talking about jewelry. Oh, jewelry, okay. Yeah. And what place, what place is this? They are buying. In a store? Mm, yeah, maybe in a store. Okay. They are in a store, okay? Especially where you can find some earrings and also some kind of clothes uh, stuff, right? The, the conversation is between Steve and Maria. The, look at this. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't a really good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Look at it. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. So look at this. There are some like valuable expressions that we can take like earrings, right? And also we have earrings. They're perfect for you. These red ones. When we are talking about one specific color in, in plural, we use this. We use uh, this. Que en este caso, this se convierte en un demonstrative adjective. Para decir estos. This. Red. Ones. Entonces, cuando usamos el ones, ya no solo se refiere a uno, sino unos. Entonces, estos. Los rojos. The red ones. Si yo quiero decir los azules. The blue ones. Los verdes. The green ones. Los anaranjados. The orange ones. Entonces siempre le agregaremos el, 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 or el once para referirnos a plural plus the color más el color, right? Entonces ahí vemos cómo eh, usamos esa expresión y usamos this que es un demonstrative adjective para decir estos y tenemos los earrings that for us is like como los aretes o le llaman aritos también, right? Aretes, aritos, so you can see that. Oh, this yellow isn't a, red, a good color for me. Well, the necklace. Como decir un collar. The necklace. Isn't bad. Which one? Para referirme a decir cuál, porque hay, vemos en el dibujo, you can see in the picture, there are different choices. Entonces, para decir, pero cuál? Entonces digo, which one? Para decir cuál. Y si yo digo, cuáles, digo, which ones? In este caso, me enfoco en uno, just one. So that's why I say which one, singular, which ones, plural. Cuáles o cuál. So you can see the word in the conversation. The blue one right there. Ahí vemos que dice that. Ese that, that blue one right there. Es decir, ese. That is a demonstrative adjective. ¿Y qué significa that como demonstrative? Ahí significa ese, esa, aquel. That is the word that we are using in this conversation, okay? Entonces diga, ese, ese azul, right there, es como decir ahí, justo ahí, right there. Okay, so you can see that. Um, it, how much is it? Para decir, ¿y cuánto cuesta? ¿O cuánto vale? And so the most common is to use, how much is it? It's for $2. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. So you can see this valuable information about this conversation. They are perfect for you. So you can also check um, a product. You say, which ones, cuál es, or which one, cuál, plus uh, the colors, the blue one, the yellow one, the pink one, the red ones, the orange one, the gray ones, etc. So you can also check vocabulary in general. Let's continue. Okay, we have some questions that we are going to socialize in a briefly way. The question is, is shopping painful for you or it's a pleasure? Because when you go shopping, you know that you will spend money. So it's shopping painful 
or it's a pleasure? What do you think? A pleasure. Okay, good. It's a pleasure. Someone else? Painful. Yeah. A pleasure. A pleasure. It's on you. Pleasure. For me, it's pleasure. Okay. <laughs> yeah, recibo de pleasure, right? It's, uh, it's painful. Yeah. I want to spend money. It's painful. For me, both. It's a pleasure, but at the same time, it's painful when you have the receipt and you have to pay. And, you know, but that's why it's important. What do you spend most of your money on? And what do you spend and qué gasta la mayoría de su dinero? Especially when you go shopping, cuando va a comprar. Clothes, shoes, clothes, shoes. And necklace, so what, what? And items for my daughter, only my daughter. So in that case, your daughter, right? Okay, someone else can give your opinion about that. What do you spend most of your money on? In my case, for my daughters, but uh, they, uh, how can I say, pedir, teacher? Ask for it. Okay, they ask me um, clothes, shoes, candies. <laughs> okay, that, that's okay. Different things, right? Okay, do you have a favorite department store or shopping center in El Salvador? Do you have a favorite uh, department store or shopping center? Or you buy whatever? I whatever. Okay. Uh, whatever. Yes, whatever. Okay, it doesn't matter the place. The important is to buy. All right, that's cool. Do you have a favorite supermarket or not? Me, my case. Buy many food. Okay, but but do you have a favorite supermarket? I like it. <laughs> okay. No one else? And do you ever visit small shops? Small shops? Yeah. For me, yes, BC and more shop. I do. I like to visit small shops or small stores. It's like in the corner to talk. Okay, so yeah, so I, I don't understand that maybe, yeah, there are different stores and places where you can buy some products. The most important is that you feel confident and, you know, going to that store, you also have a personal budget to, you know, spend um, money and everything, different things, right? So that's okay because we can talk about shopping and we can buy different products and we have an special, you know, uh, budget so how much money we will spend on that okay we have um the next stand look at this the most tips one and once we have for example how much is how much is this necklace or how much is this one look at this look at this example how much is this necklace utilizando el demonstrative adjective this and which are the demonstrative adjectives? The star this. Vamos a poner acá en el chat. Okay, los demonstrative adjectives son aquellos adjetivos que nos representan 
una, algo que nosotros queremos ver. Por ejemplo, vemos acá, por ejemplo, en the demonstrative adjective, tenemos this, que significa este, esta. Cuando las cosas están cerca. Look at this. Luego tenemos this. That is estos, estas. Okay, look at this. Mm, or like this. Look at this. So you can check this example. This and this. Luego tenemos eh, those. Look at the chat. Bueno, las cosas están en plural, sorry. I, I forget to misspell. Plural. Y tenemos eh, that. Que significa eso, esa, ese, aquel, aquella. Están. Look at the chat. En singular, sorry. Ok, entonces tenemos los demonstrative adjectives que son this, this, those, and that. That es eso, esa, ese, aquel y aquella. Cuando el cosa está cerca en singular. Ahora vemos, yo digo, how much is this necklace? Or how much is this one? Entonces yo puedo decir, en vez de de, de decir el nombre del producto puedo utilizar this one si está cerca si está lejos voy a decir that one y si son en singular por supuesto pero si son en plural how much are ahí ya cambia porque vamos a utilizar el are porque es plural this earrings estos aretes o how much are these ones o this how much are these Those earrings o those, ahí cualquiera de los dos. These earrings o those earrings. These earrings o those earrings. Si están lejos, usamos those. Si están cerca, usamos this. Y entonces dice el de la tienda, which one? ¿Cuál? Porque aquí hay varios. Y entonces usted le dice the blue one, the black one, the yellow one. Entonces ahí está el precio, $42. So you can see um, the price of this one. Look at this example here. Okay, so we also have, uh, for example, the following word here, like um, the which ones, si es en plural, pues usted va a decir cuáles, le va a decir de la tienda, right? Which ones, the yellow ones, los amarillos, oh, they are $18. Si es plural, pues siempre le van a mencionar cuando vaya a la tienda, they are y si es plural, it's for you too. So you can also check that one. Y now, veamos lo que dice el cuadro donde dice prices. Veamos qué dice. Veamos. I, I would, I'm just going to read it. Just one second. Oh, $42. $42 and $59.95. Or you can say $59 or uh, and 95 cents when we're talking about the prices. So you can see the way how people will say, for example, the prices. So you can check that site. Uh, questions? Preguntas? Questions or no questions? No, teacher, only practice. Okay, perfect. So it's uh, just a little bit practiced. We go on with the next. Y vemos siempre los demonstratives one and ones. 
Look at this one. Eh, un voluntario para que nos lea el singular, please. How much is this necklace, this one, that necklace, that one, which one, the blue one is for you to. Okay, a volunteer uh, to help me to read the plurals. How much are these earrings? These ones, those earrings, those ones, which ones, the yellow ones, they're $18. Yeah, so you can appreciate here, for example, this necklace or this earrings or these ones. The way so you can answer it. For example, nearby, que están cerca, usted dice this, this. Si están lejos, es far, that, those. Y ahí para referirnos a opciones, which, which ones. So you can check that. And the prices. It's 42. Si está en singular, it's 42. It's six dollars. It's seven dollars. Si es plural, they are eighteen. They are twenty dollars. They are fifty-five, etc. Okay, look at this one. Complete these conversations and then practice with the partner. So, in a brief way, we're going to try to complete this uh, conversation using the vocabulary studied. Excuse me. How much is how much are those jeans, which, y ahí cuál cree que va, one or ones. Usted va a elegir la mejor opción. I like, uh, y ahí vamos a utilizar la mejor opción. Entonces, le guardo unos minutitos para que pueda completar esta conversación con el vocabulario que hemos visto.
Okay, so for the time, let's check the each statement. So you can help me with the first one. And uh, which one do you think could be the first one? Excuse me, how much are those gyms? Which, um, what do you Once. think? Hmm? Once. Which ones? Which ones? Yeah, ones. Yeah, One. we're talking about plural, right? So it's correct. Number two, um, no, the light blue. The light blue what? Ones. Okay, the light blue ones. Okay, excellent. Los celestes, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, are fifty nine ninety five. They. Yes, because we're talking about the pronoun. The pronouns are the genes. So, oh, they are fifty nine ninety five dollars. Over 60, are you kidding? So maybe when you're saying like, are you kidding? Está bromeando. So it means that this person is not satisfied because of the price. It's very expensive. Okay. It's understandable. Number two, I like... Mm -hmm. That backpack. Ah, okay. Excellent. Because it's singular and is far. Okay. Great job. Over there, how much? How much is, is it, right? How much is yeah. it? How much is it? So that's good. How much is it? Excellent. And the answer is which? One. Which one? Okay, one. because it's singular. Which one? The red. One. Oh, the red one. Okay. It's a 27.9 or 49. $27.49. But the green one. This green. The green one. The green the green one. Like this. Okay. The green one. Is only $2.25. Okay, um, let me see it, please. Okay, that's uh, that's okay. So you can see the person um, trying to buy some, you know, some things. And the other person is trying to buy a backpack. So you can see in this conversation how people, they are like talking about the prices, the blue one, the yellow one. Can I see the red one? How much is it? It's $25. They are 20. So depending the product. So we can also check this part here. Okay, look at this one. And add prices to the items, then ask and answer questions. Okay, I want you to think and be creative and try to um, add the prices of these products and then we are gonna try to um, answer these questions. Look at this one. One second, because we need to do this one. Much better. Okay, meanwhile, you write the name of this prices. We're going to pass the attendance list because of the time. So if you allow me one moment, and um, I will be checking right now the attendance list. So there are some products that have a specific prices so we we sometimes we need to ask prices for example i have a question if you want to buy a cell phone is important the price or not it's important the price or it's not important Yes, it's important. Yes, it's important. Is important the brand or is not important the brand? La marca. Yes, it's important. It's important. Yes. It's important the brand and the prices. Yes. Okay. That's okay. That, that's important. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
one second. Okay, so let's check the attendance list. Ana Isela Janes? Present. Eh, Ana Ruth Perez? Present. Carlos Ernesto Flores? David Alejandro Rodriguez? Here. David Rafael Ramos? David Rafael Ramos. Eh, Diana Beatriz Reyes. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Diana Crista, Cristabel Meléndez. Present. Eric Javier Ventura. Present. Fiorella Alejandra Crespín. Gerardo José Tepas. Present. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present. Ingrid and Magdalena Castellanos. Ingrid Magdalena. Present, teacher. Okay. I'm here. All right. Eh, Jorge Francisco López. Present. Juana Margarita Sea. Catherine Suleima Poca Sangre. Catherine. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Present. Laura Lisset Peña. Presente, Che. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Mirna Yasmín Portillo. Present. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Reina uh, Jael Arevalo. Present. Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Sebastiana Guadalupe. Present. Tatiana Abigail Rodríguez. Tatiana Abigail. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Úrsula. Wendy Lisset Hernández. Present. Okay. Okay, that's right. Okay, someone is writing. Araceli. Okay, she's here. Okay, thanks. Well, Reina Jael Arevalo, right? Is there too? Present. Okay, yeah, you're on the list. Okay, great. So thank you. Well, so as, as I told you, we had to like practice the prices and also the products. Don't forget that there are different, you know, things that we can practice. Also talking about prices and everything, right? So we, our class has concluded. So I really appreciate the effort that you are taking here to be in the class. Uh, walking in this process to improve in learning English. That is important. So thank you so much, everyone, for staying here in the class today. And also have a beautiful night to all of you. And don't forget to practice and work in the exercises. So we hope to see you in the next, next class after vacations. Any questions or comments before we finished? No? Nothing. Okay. So... Have a beautiful night to all of you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you so much. Good night. 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 You too.